Stevenson falls to Albright in the home regular season finale. Glenn Clark with Stephen A. Lawrence. Stephen A. The biggest thing that jumped out to me today, 8 of 12 at the free throw line. Is that something that you've been continuing to work on all season long, and how good did it feel to have some start dropping today? Um, it felt good. I know in the beginning of the season I kind of struggled. I, it's kind of up and down at the line, but I was proud of myself for today. Is it something that, like, how do you how do you go about work? Is it just putting up shots, just putting up a ton? How do you go about improving that as the season goes on? Well, we shoot a lot of free throws. We do pressure free throws on practice. Um, when we go up and down the floor, we do pressure free throws, and then that could change the game like free throws can in a real game. So I just try to think of that. And then we also have one that I really hate during practice, actually. <laughs> it's one when we have to leave our point at the basket so how many the person made before you that's how many and then if you miss it that's how many points you have you don't want to have points so i try Ooh. to <laughs> remember that Ooh, that is complicated yeah. that's a tough one all right so your defensive intensity is something that is j just jumped off the page to me all season long where does that come from how proud are you of the defensive effort that you give in those active hands knocking balls away um, I think defense is my game. I'm not much of an offensive player, so I think I kind of have just just heart. I try to have heart and, like, my person's not scoring more than me or, like, she's not getting this buck over me. That's just the mindset I have to have, and I push my teammates to have as well. So, you you know, you say you're not much of an offensive player, but I see whenever you don't finish at the basket, you are, you are frustrated. You are <laughs> mad at yourself. You expect those points. Do you feel like that still you still have time, obviously, in your career, that it's still something that you can become an even better finisher moving forward? For sure. I get a little frustrated at times. It's like, I could have made that one. Uh, <laughs> like, I could have got a couple and ones today, mm -hmm. but I just have to finish, and luckily I was able to make it at the free throw line today. All right. You're a, uh, you're a Baltimore baller. Who do you look up to the most? Who are the players that came before you that you look up to the most? I feel like there's one that maybe everybody in this town looks up to. I'm ex Y'all expect me to say Angel Reese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, I guess I'm gonna say her. I just like she got. She's a dog. Like it's like you can't. You gotta like her. Like she's like the epitome. It's the epitome of Baltimore basketball, yeah, right? You gotta respect her. So I'm gonna just go with her. I think that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Stephanie, it's been a lot of fun watching you all season long. Uh, look for. I guess give me that message. What for this team? And it's a young team. Everybody's coming back. I know it was a tough season for you all, but what do you feel like you are most proud of that you're gonna be able to build off of next season? I think throughout the season, no matter what, we kept pushing, we kept practicing hard, we kept motivating each other throughout the whole season. So if we continue to do that, I don't feel bad for everybody next season. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Stephanie, thank you for taking the time for us as always. Look forward to seeing you back here, all right? Thank you. That's Stephanie Lawrence. I'm Glenn Clark. Go Mustang Sports TV.